You can't just come home at night after work, after a long day, and expect that your family life is growing just fine all by itself. You can't just expect that your personal life will grow and flourish without attention, without taking time to feed and water and weed out the bad stuff, the negative stuff that happens while you're away. No, creating the perfect personal life, family life, takes just as much attention as creating the perfect professional life. It takes love and nurturing and kindness and sincerity and caring. It takes all those things. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that happens today. People spend all their time, focus all their energy, give everything they've got. They give it all to the job. It can't work that way. Your family requires more than that. The investment we make in our personal relationships before they're put on paper is the investment we must continue to make. The more we give, the more we get. If you stop giving, guess what? You'll probably stop receiving too. So keep your investment in relationships and family active. That's part of the good life. What good is a mansion on the hill if you've got no one to share it with? It's no good. What good is an investment portfolio worth millions if you've got no one to share it with? It's no good. What good is working so hard day after day, month after month, year after year, working, working, working until you accumulate everything you want and in the meantime, your family left you? It's no good. It all loses its value. Life has to be balanced. Work hard, play hard. Work six days, take one day off. Work three months, take one week off. Life has to be balanced or your lifestyle will suffer. Life without balance can cost your relationships. Life without balance can cost your health. Life without balance can cost your spirituality. Life without balance can cost your wealth. Happiness. Balance. Work on a balanced life. Work on balanced ambitions. If you're a believer, don't neglect it. Study and practice if you're a believer in spirituality. Nourish, study, and practice the art of spirituality. Because we learned before that the great destroyer of all of us is neglect. Starts like an infection, becomes a disease. One neglect leads to another. Starts spinning out of control. Here's one thing to consider if you've neglected your spirituality. If you're a believer... Now, I'm not asking you to be a believer, but I'm asking that if you are a believer, do not neglect that part of your future. Study and practice as diligently as you study and practice ambition and parenting and skills and success in the marketplace. Faith helps sustain ambition. Here's what else plays an important role in your ambition. Your physical side, your health. And here's some of the best advice I've got on the physical side. Ancient scripture says, treat your body like a temple. Excellent advice. Treat your body like a temple, meaning something you'd take extremely good care of. A temple, not a woodshed. No, a temple. And here's why. The mind and the body work together. You've got to have both functioning well. Here's one of the best ways I've come to look at it. Your body needs to be a good support system for the mind and the spirit. A good support system that can take you where you want to go, support you with strength and energy and power and vitality. Here's a major part of success, vitality. I'm telling you, some people don't do well simply because they don't feel well. Now, feeling well is a personal responsibility. By taking care of the temple. It's the only place you've got to live. Your physical body. Cherish it. Ancient scripture says this, sometimes the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. See, that's a sad combination, a willing spirit and a weak body. You can't think of a much more pitiful combination. You wake up in the morning and the mind says, let's go get them. And the body says, I can't even get out of bed. You now have to have a conversation with your body that says, that's the last time you're going to fail me. 
Give me the excuse that you can't get out of bed. I'll drive you to your knees to do push-ups until you're exhausted. I've got these plans for fortune and enterprise. And there's one thing I'm going to demand, a strong, unbelievably powerful support system. From now on, I'm going to have a support system that will take me wherever I want to go. Support me with power. Support me with vitality, strength, uniqueness, zest. Anything less than that, I will not settle for. I'm telling you, you've got to take care of this physical side because it's so important. Be conscious of self, of your support system. Be conscious of self, but not self-conscious. Don't work on it too much, more than you need to. You don't have to spend six hours a day to have a good support system. You don't have to. 30 minutes a day, one hour a day, and you can have a strong, healthy body. Exercise, you can do just a few simple things. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, unless you're on the 50th floor in New York. When you're looking for a parking space, don't look for the one that's right by the front door. Park a block away and get a little bit of exercise. But here's the best exercise program in the world, the one that'll work for you, the one that you'll do, the program that won't bore you or hurt you. If you don't like to jog, if your joints can't handle it, go for a walk. If you don't like to walk, take up swimming half a mile a few times a week. If you don't like exercise that seems like exercise, get into a sport. Like tennis or racquetball or basketball or softball. You don't have to do too much, just enough to keep your body a good support system. Here's what else happens when you participate in a regular exercise program. You just plain feel better. Not just your body, but your mind. It's kind of a paradox, but the more physical activity you do, the less sleep you need. The more physical activity you do, the better your mind works. We've all heard of the runner's high. Well, it's true. 20 to 30 minutes of sustained activity starts releasing endorphins in our bloodstream. And endorphins are our body's natural secretion of morphine. No wonder they call it a runner's high. It is. Take care of the physical so that it becomes a happy support system. It'll have the muscle and the strength and the vitality to take you wherever you want to go. Accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. Develop a good support system to take care of you and make all of your dreams come true. Because you've got to have the physical. Okay, and here's what else you need to pay attention to in the physical. Those things that could hurt you. Like overeating and smoking and too much alcohol. These things can destroy your temple just as surely as pure neglect. Now, a fine glass of wine with dinner is one of the joys of life, lifestyle, but drinking too much too often will tear down your temple, and it'll do more than that. Drinking too much at business dinners or social dinners will end up alienating you from the professionals who know their limits. Make sure you know your limits. A fine glass of wine, yes. A bottle of wine, probably not. Know your limits. Pay attention to your behavior in the marketplace, lest it cost you more than you'd like to pay. It's all about balance in life. How your ambition in the marketplace translates into a balanced life at home. If you're giving too much at work, pay it back to your family with interest. Balance. It's important. If you don't have balance, you have what? You'll end up paying too high a price. Sacrificing your family for your work. Being careful with your clients and careless with your children. Without balance, there's a price to pay. And we must all pay the price. And sometimes the price is just too high. So evaluate the price before you begin. What must I give up to achieve this goal? What must I become? Evaluate it all. Now, do you think your disciplines at work can affect your personal life? Do you think the skills you perfect at work affect your personal life? Of course. The skills you bring from work have an enormous bearing on your personal life. All disciplines affect each other. Nothing stands alone.
Everything affects everything. Everything matters. Yes, there are some things that don't matter as much, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. Nothing at all. Be not casual in your approach to life and business and family. Don't be casual. Everything matters. How you treat your children will undoubtedly affect how you treat your clients. How you run your office will undoubtedly affect how you run your life.